Testosterone. You know, that thing that makes men feel like men. Gives women their edge and tells your mitochondria it's time to throw hands with entropy itself. Except, modern life is out here nerfing your testosterone like it's patch 1.0.7 in a broken video game. Ultra-processed food, no sunlight, blue light in your eyes at 2am while you scroll through memes and regret. And stress? You're basically one email away from turning into a Pixar villain. But here's the wild thing. Science actually knows what helps. Not weird internet pills or powder that smells like regret and beef jerky. I'm talking about evidence-based hacks, some ancient, some modern, that can crank your testosterone from Netflix and nap to wake up and choose anabolic violence. This isn't just about bigger biceps or unbuttoning your shirt in public. Low T is linked to fatigue, depression, brain fog, belly fat, and the inability to hold a grocery bag without using both hands. So, if you want your life to feel like an action movie montage again, or at least stop crying during dog food commercials, this one's for you. Let's go. 8 Testosterone Hacks Science-backed, comedic, and a little unhinged, just like you should be. Heavy lifting on purpose. If testosterone had a favorite hobby, it would be heavy lifting things and then casually flexing while pretending it was no big deal. Turns out, your body agrees. Resistance training, especially big compound movements like squats, deadlifts, overhead presses, is the biological cheat code. Not only do these exercises increase testosterone right after your workout, but over time, they build lean muscle, reduce visceral fat, and tell your endocrine system, yo, we're still hunters, not Excel spreadsheet goblins. But don't just grab some pink dumbbells and do bicep curls like you're trying to stir soup. We're talking heavyweight, low to moderate reps, and short rest between sets. This creates the perfect storm of mechanical stress and metabolic demand. Your brain goes, oh wow, we're still a man. Better summon the hormonal cavalry. The science? Studies show that resistance training can spike testosterone by 15-25% to post-workout. Over time, it supports higher baseline testosterone, particularly if you're consistent. Bonus points for deadlifts. They train your posterior chain and your soul. But here's the kicker. If you overtrain, sleep four hours, and eat microwave nachos afterward, you're undoing all that progress faster than your last situationship. So yes, lift. Lift heavy. But also, recover. Eat. Sleep. Live like your mitochondria are watching. And when someone asks, do you even lift? You say, Yes, for my testosterone. And also, because I'm afraid of dying soft. Sunlight, the free hormone multivitamin. You know what's cheaper than a $70 supplement stack from a guy with an Instagram filter? The actual sun. Your body is basically solar-powered, and testosterone production is no exception. Vitamin D isn't just good for your bones, it's a steroid hormone precursor that your body makes when UVB light hits your skin. And guess what? Studies show men with higher vitamin D levels also tend to have higher testosterone. When you're locked indoors all day under sad fluorescent lights, your T levels start looking like your high school GPA after senioritis. But just 15 to 30 minutes of sunlight on your skin preferably in the morning, helps set your circadian rhythm and gives your Leydig cells, the dudes in your testes that make testosterone, a biochemical high five. And no, standing in front of your fridge light doesn't count. This is about real sun, outside, with air and trees and stuff. If you're in a dark winter hellscape, a high-quality vitamin D3 supplement with K2 can be your backup plan, but nothing beats that raw star power. So get outside, walk, lift, or just stand there looking majestic. Your mitochondria will think they're on vacation, 
your testosterone will thank you. Sleep, where testosterone is actually made. If sunlight is the power switch, sleep is the factory. You can lift all you want, eat kale and even snort maca root, but if you're sleeping like a raccoon in a truck stop dumpster, your testosterone will tank hard. Your body produces the majority of its daily testosterone during REM and deep sleep. In fact, just one week of sleeping only 5 hours a night can slash your T levels by up to 15%. That's not a typo. That's your manhood quietly leaking out because you had to binge another season at 3 a.m. Sleep isn't just rest, it's hormonal recalibration. Seven to nine hours in a cool, dark room, no blue light, no doom scrolling, no late night business ideas, and your endocrine system actually remembers how to do its job. Pro tip, go to bed and wake up at consistent times. Yes, even on weekends. Keep your room cool, like a bear cave. Stop scrolling before bed. Your brain needs melatonin, not memes. Want to naturally crank your testosterone without spending a dime? Sleep. Sleep like it's your side hustle. Because if you're not sleeping, you're basically choosing to run your hormonal bank account into overdraft fees. Eat fat. The good kind, not the drive through kind. Imagine trying to build a house without bricks. That's your body trying to make testosterone without dietary fat. Testosterone is a steroid hormone, which means it's literally built from cholesterol. So if you're on a zero-fat, lettuce, and regret diet, you're starving your hormones faster than a boomer in a Wi-Fi dead zone. The solution? Eat whole food fats. Think pasteurized raised eggs, avocados, olive oil, grass-fed beef, nuts, seeds, and wild-caught fish. Avoid seed oils that were cooked in Satan's air fryer. Studies show that low-fat diets can reduce testosterone, while diets rich in monononsaturated and saturated fats, from real sources, support optimal hormone production. And, let's be clear, I said real fats, not eating three pounds of bacon and calling it biohacking. You're optimizing testosterone, not auditioning for my 600-pound life testosterone edition. Get lean. Belly fat is a testosterone thief. Here's the harsh truth. Your belly fat is literally stealing your testosterone and turning it into estrogen. Yep. Your fat cells have a nasty little enzyme called aromatase that converts free testosterone into estradiol, the same hormone that makes you cry during car commercials and retain water like a cactus. The more visceral fat you have, the worse it gets. You'll feel tired, your libido tanks, you start avoiding mirrors, and your t-shirt starts shrinking for some reason. The fix? Get into a caloric deficit without starving, lift weights, and move daily. Losing just 10 to 15% of body fat can significantly increase free testosterone and reduce aromatase activity. You don't have to get shredded like a Greek statue. Just stop living like a microwave dinner in human form. Your testosterone is being mugged by your own belly fat. Time to fight back. Stress less. Cortisol is your testosterone's villain arc. Ever notice how during finals week or your last breakup, you felt emotionally fragile, bloated, and vaguely useless? That's not just vibes, it's cortisol. When cortisol, your stress hormone, is elevated, testosterone drops like your motivation on Monday morning. Chronic stress basically tells your brain, forget reproduction or strength, we're being chased by lions or emails. And guess what modern life is full of? Lions, made of emails, with deadlines, and slack pings, and existential dread. So what do you do? You chop cortisol in half like a samurai. Get deep quality sleep. Meditate or breathe like a chill monk for five minutes a day. Limit screen time. Walk in nature. Laugh, touch grass, and stop arguing with strangers online. Lower cortisol equals higher testosterone. 
Your adrenal glands are tired. Give them a break. Let your hormones have their main character moment. Cold showers, because testosterone isn't for comfort seekers. Nothing screams, I'm serious about my hormones, like voluntarily stepping into a freezing shower and letting out a sound that's somewhere between a battle cry and a dolphin scream. But science backs it. Cold exposure increases testosterone, or at least it supports it indirectly by improving blood flow, reducing inflammation, and ramping up mitochondrial activity. Shout out to the channel name. One 1991 study even found increased testosterone production in the testes of animals exposed to colder temperatures. And more anecdotally, because let's face it, nobody's funding a cold shower Olympics, you'll hear from guys who say daily cold exposure helped them feel more energized, focused, and less like a sleepy tofu blob. Plus, cold showers boost dopamine, discipline, and grit. Not the grind set alpha male kind, the real kind. The kind where your body learns to do hard things and stops interpreting spilled coffee as a life-threatening crisis. So, the next time you hit the shower, skip the sauna vibes, go arctic, feel alive, and give your testosterone something to write home about. Supplement smartly, not like a bro at GNC. Let's get one thing straight. Supplements are not magic. If your lifestyle is garbage, no pill is saving you. But if you've got the fundamentals down, the right stack can support your testosterone like a solid wingman. Here are the evidence-based MVPs. Zinc, essential for testosterone synthesis. Deficiency equals hormonal nosedive. Magnesium, especially if you work out helps free up bound testosterone. Vitamin D3 and K2, already covered via sunlight, but worth reinforcing. Ashwagandha, ancient adaptogen with actual human studies showing increased testosterone, reduced cortisol, and improved strength. Tongkat Alley, a favorite among the biohacker bros, and surprisingly legit. Studies show boosts in libido and free testosterone. Creatine, not just for the muscle, has mild but positive effects on T-levels and brain function. Avoid proprietary blends with 38 ingredients you can't pronounce, products with labels that look like monster energy drinks and sound like Marvel villains. Supplementation is the cherry on top, not the whole cake. If your lifestyle sucks, you're just paying to pee expensive urine. Here's the brutal truth no one wants to tell you. Low testosterone doesn't just mean low muscle or low sex drive. It means low you, low ambition, low confidence, low fire, low resilience, low everything that makes you feel vital. We live in a world of ultra-processed food, digital pacifiers, and 24-7 stress. No wonder testosterone is plummeting like a rock off a cliff. But you, you're not here to be average. You're here to lift heavy, sleep deeply, eat real food, touch the sun, face the cold, and show your body who's boss. Not because you want to be alpha, but because you want to be fully alive. So reclaim your testosterone, reclaim your edge, reclaim your damn mitochondria. Mitochondria Mafia out.